Welcome to Heart to Heart Talks with Anita Bahal. Welcome back to Heart to Heart Talks with Anita Bahal. I hope wherever you are, you're having a lovely day. As you can see, I'm just sitting outside enjoying my not my but enjoying the beautiful flowers that nature has blessed me with and also I'm getting to be barefoot you can't see it but I am barefooted and I'm actually getting to touch the grass and I'm very joyful at this moment so today I want to talk about we can only give what we have inside of us let me say that again we can only give what we have inside of us so, on reflection as usual, the more I meet people, um, I realize how much of us are so unhappy. We have conquered the way of probably having all these material things, but we are unhappy. We are unhappy at home, we are unhappy at our jobs, we are just unhappy with ourselves because if everywhere we go, you know, you are unhappy it really is because you are there with yourself and what is very beautiful that I was reflecting on if every one of us wants to be loved so we all want to be loved so you are walking around I am walking around you know friends are walking around just the whole population walking around and everybody want to be loved and appreciated but nobody given the love now if all are we walking around, we have expectations, we want to be loved, nobody's really giving the love, all are we walking around miserable because none of us taking the time to fill ourselves with, with light, all that is wonderful, all that can make inside here so filled with love that we can share it to the whole world regardless of who, how they are or who they are. So I want to tell you today, check yourself. Remember, you can only give, you can only give what you have to give. I can't give you an apple if I don't have one. I can't give you love if I don't have love inside of me. I can't spread joy if I don't feel joyful. So check yourself. Now I want to give you some tips on how you could do that. So. I was reading a book, usual thing, and uh, uh, Robin Sharma. And Robin Sharma said a very beautiful thing. He said, people love to say knowledge is power. No, I would agree with that to a certain extent, but he went a little deeper, which was even more beautiful. He said, knowledge is potential power because all of us can have the knowledge, but if we don't act on that knowledge so you could know what to do so you might know well I need to go for exercise or I need to eat healthy food but you are doing nothing would that change you then I was reading up um, some Chinese philosophy and I was looking at Confucius and you know thinking that he was a philosopher you would think he would come up with some hard question you know what he was one of sorry you know what one of his main questions was how do you live your daily life so I am here to remind you only that you need to reflect and check your daily life. What kind of shows you're watching? What kind of music you're listening to? Right? What type of activities you're engaging in? Is it something that's strengthening you from inside and filling you up with love? Are you having bad thoughts? No, nothing wrong with that. But if you have bad thoughts and you want to change it, you have to have a plan. So every time this bad thought is come up with come up with a saying or a line or what you call a mantra or something you know affirmation to replace it so for example a beautiful line is I'm a peaceful soul I'm a loving soul so when anything negative come in your mind just tell yourself you know this all the time until it form a habit or if you find you're reading books that are real depressing you know about violence you know probably change your books to something more inspiring okay so I'm asking you to reflect remember you could only give what you have so please check this mind 
reflect on your daily habits, see what you could change. Nobody say change everything today, you know. One thing at a time and stick with it, okay? So, I challenge you to reflect on yourself and change one thing to fill yourself up in many different ways, whether it be with love, whether it be with joy, whether it be with excitement, just change for the positive. And remember, it is our daily activities that define who we are. Love and light from Anita, and I hope to see you again. And I hope you enjoy the beautiful flowers here. For me, flowers alone just ignite something in my soul. Okay, so have a wonderful day. And remember, you can only give what you have. Bye, love and light.